This is Kilo, and a question that I get lately from a lot of the newer pickers is how do you identify a mortise cylinder from a standard cylinder? Some of you guys have went down and picked up some scrap locks from lock shops or thrift stores, and they pretty much, if they come in a box just like these, a lot of the newer pickers, they don't really know the difference between these. They think that these are both mortise cylinders. Some of the videos you guys have sent in, you'll be picking this and you'll ask, you know, I need some tips on picking this mortise cylinder. And then I've, I've said, you know, that's not a mortise cylinder. And you guys have asked how to identify one. So it's very simple. This is just your common defiant deadbolt cylinder. This slides in just right through the latch, through the shape into the thumb piece. You would then mount it from the inside with these two screws here. And this, just like every other deadbolt, it mounts the same. You would, you know, flick the thumb turn and this actuates the latch. So with a mortise cylinder, if you guys just look at these like straight ahead, you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference unless you're a locksmith or an avid picker. Other than the fact that this says defiant, most people would think these are the same lock. So the easiest way to identify a mortise cylinder is by these threads right here. You won't see this on, on any other cylinder. The reason for this is like I was saying, as a deadbolt, this just slides straight through and mounts from the other side. When you come to a mortise lock, the lock body is mortised into the door. So when you show up, unlike this one where you're just gonna feed it through, this is your tailpiece here. So you see a massive difference. This is the tailpiece on your standard deadbolt this is the tailpiece some people call it a cam locksmiths will argue all day long on what to call it um, some are like it's called a cam and then you'll find another one they're like this is called a tailpiece not a cam and then they will sit there all day and just go back and forth so you can call it whatever you want nobody really cares but you'll notice that the tailpiece is this little flat cam <laughs> or whatever you want to call it and it's held in with these two little screws. And the biggest identifier are these threads. The reason for these threads is unlike the deadbolt where you just slide this in and mount it from the back. This one, when you show up to the lock body, all you do is you insert this into the body and you just start to turn and it basically just screws right in. And once you have it in the correct position, so we'll have it straight up and down like this, there will be a set screw on the latch side. Once you tighten that set screw, it fits into this groove. So if you ever come across, you know, an, an install with one of these as a rookie, if you're having trouble, you know, sometimes if the lock isn't, or if the cylinder isn't completely straight up and down, you'll be having trouble with that set screw. So you want to make sure that it's, you know, 12 o'clock position. That way your set screw fits right into this groove. And once it's in, it holds him from moving. Then once you turn your key, this actuates the latch, flips it in and out. From the inside, you'll have another one of these. It could either be another keyed cylinder or just a thumb turn, but it will also have its own cam or tailpiece. And that side will also actuate the latch. So the biggest and easiest way to identify a mortise cylinder from your standard cylinder is to just turn it to the side and look for these threads. That's the first thing you're gonna notice. And then obviously the tail pieces are drastically different. So I just wanted to point that out for some of the newer pickers who you guys might have a whole pile of these thinking that you're picking mortise cylinders. If you guys do come across uh, mortise cylinders, just know oftentimes these are master keyed. Uh, even in the scrap pile, you know, some locksmiths, they might come up and just take these out, toss them in the scrap. So if you come across them and they're kind of hard, uh, to pick, they could have a bunch of master pins in there, especially if there's like number one master wafers, you're going to have a pretty tough time because those like to kind of pop around and do some weird things inside the lock. So I just wanted to make this video to help the newer pickers identify a mortise cylinder from your standard deadbolt cylinder. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you guys have a nice day.